What is up, BJJ Casters? This is Gunsman246 Money here, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of Fury gameplay as well. So, just to start off the vid, I just wanted to give you some specs about the Fury so you guys know what all is going into this. So, first off, it has 988 points, which is pretty decent for a medium tank of that tier, tier 6. Um, it has whole armor in millimeters, the front is 63, side, the sides and rear are 38. The turret armor is 76 on the front, 51 on the sides and rear. Maneuverability, this is what kind of surprised me. The weight is 34 tons. The engine power is 520 horsepower. The speed limit, top speed is 42, but that's not always true in this game. The traverse speed in degrees per second is 44, and the turret traverse speed is 38. And then here's where the real stuff comes in where you, you see more of this happening. The standard shell damage is 120 to 200. The standard shell penetration in millimeters is 96 to 160. So that's a decent, but that's not good. Uh, aiming time is 2.3 seconds. Dispersion at 100 meters, that would be 0.4. And the view range per meters is 240, which is kind of sad for a medium. But uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Let's start playing some battles. And then I'll show you this while we're playing, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm yeah. As you guys know, if you watched my video last night, I am pretty sick. Uh, like yeah, I have like a really raspy throat, and I have a stuffy nose. So if you guys hear me with like a raspy throat or like stuff like coughing or something, disregard it. And I uh, I apologize in advance for that. So here we go, uh, let's look at the lineup here. We've got a Cromwell top on our team. I'm number two as the Fury. We've got a Jackson as our number three. We've got a KV1 M4 and two Stug 3Gs. While they've basically got the same person on the front, they've got a Jagdpanzer 4 as number two, replacing my spot. They've got a VK36.01H, and this should be a pretty interesting battle. So right now, I'm just going to hold down, wait for the enemies to come into sight. And the turret on this thing is just amazing. I can't think of the name right now, but going up and down, like, the barrel, the barrel, uh, the amount the barrel goes up and down is just amazing. It's, it's quite surprising when you actually get the tank. And for those wondering how to get the tank, I'm sorry, but about six or five months ago, five or six months ago, this came out of stock. So Wargaming, as a World of Tanks Blitz, they took it out, so you can no longer buy it. So it was just an exclusive premium tank, sold at the time that the Fury movie was released. And yeah, since I, I love the movie so much, um, I just had to buy it. Let's see if we can get into this KV-1 at all. And the armor on these things against tier 5s is just ridiculous. Like, they're gonna penetrate you. It's not... Even tier 4s, the armor on this thing's pathetic. But there's pros and cons to it, I guess. Maneuverability is amazing in battle. It's almost like a Cromwell. Like, you, we all know the British tanks are insanely fast and maneuverable. This could almost keep up with one of them. Okay, here's a VK-3601H, very sluggish tank, shooting AG rounds. They do somewhat good amount of damage on this, but, uh, yeah, we'll just see how this all turns out. The downside about HE rounds, they travel so slow, but they do a good amount of damage if they penetrate, or if they get on your armor at all. Okay, they just destroyed that. VK, it's Jag Panzer 4, I'm very worried about. This could be a bad situation right here. Pretty confident one of my team, yep, okay. They took him out. Another VK 3601H over here. We'll see how this is going to work. Um, let me watch my left flank there, see if I can pop a shot into him, nope, 
completely missed on that one. Failed. As you guys can see, my loader's dead right now, or at least he's injured, so my loading time has gone completely crazy. It's noticeably different. It's not 10 rounds per minute now. It's probably like 7, somewhere around there. Um, there we go. There's the game for you guys. This tank is very well rounded. I mean, except... I don't know. It's just... It's one of those tanks where... You wish you would have bought it, but at the same time, once you've bought it, you don't play it super super crazily. You don't grind it that much. It is an epic experiencer, though. As you guys can see, I have 50k experience. And I used about 60k of it in my Yag Tiger right before I pur purchased the Yag Panzer 100 here. And uh, if you guys want to see the lineup, it goes Yag Panther for the German Tank Destroyer, Yag Panther 2, Tier 8, Yag Tiger Tier 9, and then the Tier 10, Yag Panzer 100. Let's go ahead and do another battle here. Okay, as you guys can see, this is more of a tier 8 battle, higher tier battle. Um, sorry for the pop-downs, guys, if you can see those. Um, so, yeah, they've got an ISC-152 on their team. They've got an ISC-122-44 and a T-25-2. And those are some uh, pretty high-caliber tanks there, so we'll, we'll have to watch out. Especially with this paper armor of this tank. Um, let's see. Looks like we're going towards the town. There'll be more cover there, so we'll probably be a little better off there. I would think. Um, so, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Lerve, but I don't know for sure. Some people pronounce it low. I don't know. But it's a pretty epic tank. Tier 8. Heavy tank. The gun on it is decent. It's not the best. Okay, the Fury here. Let's see. And if you guys have seen the Fury movie, you would know that they, uh... It took place in World War II. They were in North Africa. And this kind of reminded me of that situation there. So it kind of plays into the movie a little bit. Some of these battles. It's kind of funny. Trying to hit the observation device. Nope. This IS-6. As you guys can see, I have no chance of penetrating his whole, his whole uh, upper mantle out there. There's just no way with the little gun I have here. Let's see. KV-1S is trying to come in here. 168 damage. Yeah, he just took a lot of damage out of me. Um, set him on fire. That did not work at all. A little more damage than I Oh, yep, and then, of course, the uh, troll cannon here. That took me out. BL-10. Um, yeah, so while, while we're waiting for that, I guess I can make this episode a Fury slash IC-152 episode with the BL-10 derp gun. Let's go straight into it. I don't really care, guys. Let's go. Um, wow, we've got an object 268 on our team. This is a tier 10 match. FV4202, they've got an IS4. Wow, they've got three tank destroyers. Three tiers down on their team. I'd be kind of worried about that, honestly. Um, as you guys can see, yes, this is the BL10. It is pretty crazy with its damage. I mean... Cost 75k, I believe, to get this gun. No, I did not buy it, guys, for those who are wondering. I had to actually really work for this gun. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll see how this battle rolls out here. Got the object, and he's 75 with me. Ah, okay. It looks like T62A is trying to flank. I don't know exactly what he's trying to do there. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. And I can't apologize enough, guys. I'm really sorry. We haven't had a video up in, like, 
what it seems like five months. It's absolutely crazy. We should not be doing this. It's irresponsible if we even want to have a YouTube channel. This should not be going on. Um, just sorry so much about that, guys. And the whole cast feels the same way, so. Oh, goodness. Yep, the object 704 got me. Uh, yeah, let's see if the uh, Fury got back here. Uh, yeah, looks like we got defeated on this one. Usually get a good amount of credits, but uh, as you guys can see, I didn't do much damage at all whatsoever. So I only got 118 experience with defeat and 2,440 credits. Um, let's see here, guys. We'll go back into the Fury here so you guys can check out the tank a little bit. In the back, it kind of looks like the movie a little bit. It has the uh, vents there in the back. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um and then uh and that's the turret on the front with the uh barrel saying fury like in the movie which is pretty awesome. It has the commander's capular the hatch and it has the front that looks exactly like the movie which is pretty insane. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And I'll make sure to check in with you guys soon. See ya.